everyone, and welcome back to Moss Tree Village. Oh my goodness, look, there's a butterfly. And I whip out like the shovel. We're not gonna catch the butterfly with the shovel. Oh my gosh. All right, come on, come here, little one. Did we get it? <gasps> we got it! A cute little monarch butterfly. Wonderful. Maybe I can give that to somebody. But welcome back to Moss Tree Village. And it is actually not the day of the bug off, though that butterfly would have been a really good catch for it. It is the day before, and I was actually just coming on to get ready to kind of roam around, hopefully be able to find who this lost book belongs to. Maybe find some fossils, some gems, take care of my little village and get ready for the bug off. And then when I popped on, <gasps> there's another bug. We can practice for the bug off at least. Ho ho ho, look at that. All right, we got a long locust. How cute. Oh my gosh, I love catching these bugs. But when I got on, Isabel greeted me and she said today is the autumn moon and that I should greet her. And if I go talk to her, she has a gift for me for the autumn moon. And I just, I couldn't turn that down. That sounded so exciting. So we're going to go see Isabel and see what she has to say about the autumn moon in just a moment here. But oh my goodness, my inventory has become totally full again. So let me go ahead and see if I can hide... Do I have room? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put my watering can away into this letter. I really wish I had kept those other letters now that I know about this trick. And then I have a few other things, including a folk guitar that I actually got from one of the villagers yesterday. So, ooh, I kind of want to go display that in my house. And <gasps> that looks like a fossil spot to me. Let's go see what this is all about. Oh my gosh, there's lots of these spots. Whoops, I totally missed. Lots of these spots over here. And Blanche looks like she's digging up some things too. A mega nubloid. Oh gosh. All right, we're gonna have to go play with this guy. Oh, I really hope we are able to keep enough of the gyroids and I'll be able to, oh, chatter. We'll talk to him in just a second. And I'll be able to like set up a little museum display area or maybe even another house where I can just show off all of those guys. Maybe like, <gasps> it could be like a choir sort of area, like a little music display because they do make a bit of music when you drop them. So let's go ahead and see. Here's the folk guitar. Let's see how cute that is. Let me see. What do I think about you, my friend? Let me turn you. Can I play? <gasps> I love it. Okay, I want to definitely keep that. That's just too much fun. And then let's take a good look at this guy before I take him to the train station. Oh gosh, he's colorful. Look at you, buddy. He would be pretty cool if he was like maybe in our space area. So if we had like a little space theme room with this asteroid and some other things, I would definitely put him in there. So we'll we'll think about that. And then we have the raccoon figurine that we bought because I think he looks like he would be so awesome in maybe like a tea room or a spa room or maybe like a little greenhouse room or a shrine room. So I think he's going to come in useful in the future for sure. And then I also caught this guy. I caught a walking leaf yesterday. And he really surprised me. I thought he was a little item because they look just like these little leaves over here. The little like furniture leaves. And then I caught him. That was so much fun. He started moving. So I whipped out my net and I got him. So we're going to take him to Blathers today. And then I also need to clear out a few of these things. And I need to figure out what the heck I'm going to do with this book. I'm really hoping that whoever this book belongs to, I can find them today. But let's go visit Isabel and see what she has to say about having the beautiful town ordinance because I'm oh, there's another little bug I shouldn't be so distracted by like easy peasy little bugs chatter what do you think about that oh he's clapping for me oh my gosh that's just too cute that he's even clapping for me do you have anything to say today my little friend oh he's so tiny hey good to see you nice time to get out and about in moss tree formage and, oh, you guys told me that he's saying something in French, like cheese in French. Have you heard of the rare rainbow stag? I'm fascinated by its weird insect beauty. It haunts my dreams. Maybe even manifest and invest them. Could you find one for me, Siri? I just have to find a rainbow stag. Um, I don't think I can. I'll try? I think that's like one of the rarest of all of the insects, but you know what? I am I am a mayor. I can make really big promises that perhaps I have no right in being able to fulfill. So we'll go ahead and promise him that even though I don't know if I'm going to be able to fulfill that. All right, let's make sure it's not a pit seed. Good. And then let's see. In fact, I buried my pit seed with the time capsule yesterday. So we should have all of our villagers safe from the ill effects of pit seeds. And then let's go and see. Blanche, I was going to look for you. How are you doing today? Hello, Siri. Nice day to get a few things done, isn't it? So, what do you want, Siri? So, Siri. The rumor is that your home is looking very stylish, quite so. I'd like to take a peek right now, if you don't mind. Let's go! Let's do this! 
Sorry if I'm being nosy, but I just couldn't help myself. Let's go. <gasps> this is so cute. I'm gonna have Blanche over for tea. I don't have a tea set. I don't really even have a kitchen. I don't have chairs. I don't have pretty much anything that you might consider like comfortable for visiting, but I hope you enjoy Blanche. Come on in. Come on in. I wonder if she's gonna ask for something in my house. I, I, I could, I could probably, uh, like maybe my pet goldfish? Is that what she wants? Excuse me if I just walk right on in, Siri. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Well, you would walk right on in if I could get out of your way. I have a guest, a visitor into my home. Oh my goodness. All right, what does she have to think about everything? Well, isn't this nice? It's got a very Siri feel, doesn't it? Yes, don't you think so? All of the plants, I really love it. I love the greenery in here. Adore it. <gasps> She is my best friend! I knew it! She understands the greenery! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. So yeah, she definitely likes my greenery. That means she's like now- How fascinating. There's not a single thing on any of your walls, quite so. Well, Schick Ostrich Monthly says- Oh, she's an ostrich? That's so cute! Says a blank wall is as dull as an empty floor. Honestly, I don't think I agree, but it's worth thinking about, Siri. Anything else? Nice guitar, Siri. I bet you have a secret life playing at clubs or something. Quite so. Oh, she's so cute. How fascinating. Is she going to say something? I want to see if she says something about my asteroid. Because that would really crack me up. Oh, you've simply got to have Chatter over to, your, uh, to see your place. It's such an inspiration. So she's being good friends with Chatter. I'll only be a few minutes. No need to serve any rice pudding. Uh, unless you want some, of course. I don't really, I don't even have a kitchen. It seems that all the comforts of a home are incomplete. You know, a bed, chair, table, and storage. A home without all the comforts is like sweet tea without a glass. You just can't enjoy it. Well, that would be a bit of a mess, wouldn't it? Maybe that's what she's saying. Because sweet tea without a glass would just be, like, messy. Leaving, Siri? I suppose I should be going soon. Thanks for letting me visit, quite so. That was so fun! I didn't know that they'll just come over and kind of tour my house. That's adorable. All right, is she still in my house? Who knows? I hope she has a good day. Oh my gosh, there's so many bugs. That's a big one. That's- ah! Did he just fly in my face? I think he just flew in my face. All right, well, I missed him, but that's okay because my inventory is pretty much more or less full. And I think I can run safely now. So let's go ahead and sell what we can. And then we're going to go and we're going to see if we can talk with Isabel and see how the day is going. And I think we will get our very first project started because I'm thinking- that, uh, hello Reese, let me go ahead and sell you some random things today. I promise it's not more peach jam. I'm not wearing my chef outfit, I'm wearing my mayor outfit, which means that I want to spend some time running around being a good mayor. So, long Lucas grasshopper, pretty sure this butterfly, this butterfly, this butterfly. And I kind of want to sell the baseball pants I got, just because we can. So I'm going to sell all of these things, and then we'll keep the other things. Alright, and I really wish I could find the owner of the book. All right, we're gonna go ahead and sell all those, no problem. There we go, we've got a good start to the bells either for our house or the bells for a public works project. And I think the first public works project I wanna start is actually going to be for, dun dun dun, yee, for the bridge, because the bridge makes so much sense. Also, did I plant those tulips? I don't remember planting those tulips. I kinda wanna wear those tulips, but yellow is the color of friendship. So I'm gonna leave the yellow tulip in my hair because I like to wear it, okay, no peaches back here, because I like to wear the yellow friendship tulip in my hair when I am wearing my mayor outfit, because that means that I am out and about doing mayoral duties instead of cooking lots and lots of peach jam. What? Due to an event in the plaza today, our service counter will be closed. What? I was gonna start the, <laughs> I was gonna make it happen. I was gonna start the projects. Well, I guess I could go ahead and just focus on my house. That's interesting. And hopefully my grass should be safe now because I did pass the town ordinance. Oh, hey, look, it's that cat guy. Oh, and there's a weed. Got it. All right. And what do you think, uh, Kid Cat? Hey, oh, Siri. Hey, Siri. Gotta love this weather. Perfect training conditions. Psst. What you need? You've been the subject of some gossip lately. Rumor is it that you're a real bell pincher. So, uh, is it true? Uh, I'm not so sure. Seems like rumors are just rumors. Because I've been spending... <gasps> my trees 
getting bigger. I'm so proud of you, little tree. Oh my gosh, I've been spinning a lot of bells, so I don't know who says I'm being a bell pincher. Oh no, oh no, I've ruined it. I've ruined it, I'm sorry guys. I was like, ah ha ha, I don't think this will be my money stone. And sure enough, I'm sorry, I ruined the money stone again. I know I should be able to get so much from it. I People are gonna be so mad. I'm so sorry, you guys. I didn't think that was gonna be the money stone. It was just like a ha-ha sort of thing. And guess what? It was the money stone. Oh, and look, we've actually got some things. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put away these bells. We've got another spot to dig up. So today is being pretty productive. Let's talk to the kid cat again. I wish I could find the owner of this book. I really hope they didn't move away. Oh my gosh, there's so many gyroids. They really seem to show up after the storms, too. Yeah, I don't think anyone's moved away. I know Tammy's thinking about it, my bear. Oh, Isabel, there you are, my dear. I was wondering what was going down. <gasps> She's got such a cute little casual outfit on. Mayor, tonight is the autumn moon. To celebrate autumn moon tonight, I prepared wheat bundles for everyone. Would you like one? <gasps> Look at her little tail. She's so excited. Ah, that's so cute. Thank you, Isabel. How could anyone be bored today? I mean, it's not even night that the moon will be so amazing to look at. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And she's wearing such a cute little outfit. Thank you. <gasps> what is this? You guys. You guys, it's so cute. It's so precious. I love this. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh my goodness. Isabel, I love it. I'm really excited for tonight. I hope everyone enjoys this nice fall evening while looking at the moon. Oh gosh, well I'll come back tonight. That's gonna be really important, so we won't stay too long then. And then we're gonna go ahead and see if he says anything. Check it out, lady bro. These clothes are easy to move around in. Athletes really should stick to sporty clothing like this. <laughs> oh my goodness, all right. So he is doing good, but I think as far as the book goes, visit a big top Aurora, Tammy, Genji, Kid Cat, Chatter, Blanche, Caesar. Did I visit Genji? I think I visited Genji, but he didn't re- Yeah, I did! Because he was visiting with Chatter, and he didn't react at all to the thing that I showed him. So, I don't know. Maybe I just need to get rid of the book now? <gasps> There's a butterfly! Watch out, little one! Okay, come here. And into my net! Ha <laughs> ha! Practicing for that bug off. Tiger butterfly. Good. Wonderful. I can go ahead and sell that. And then let's go ahead and run on- Oh, there's a new note! Okay, we'll check on the new note in just a second. I want to put away these little gyroid guys. I think they're not called gyroids, but I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> so there we go. Alright. And I've got more of them in my collection now. And I do have a sky- I have a few random things. Okay, there's that. And, okay. I've got a few donations for Blathers, and unfortunately I haven't seen Red yet. So Red is the wandering salesperson who will show up in a tent inside of the plaza, I think. And he's supposed to be the bug office tomorrow. Let's enjoy the nature and moss tree. There might be rewards too, so come join us for a fun day. I'm totally going to enjoy the bug off. We might end up with another super special long episode because I love the idea of the bug off. I think it sounds like it's been just going to be so much fun. And did I remember? I feel like I forgot to dig up a fossil spot, perhaps. <gasps> I don't think I've got that dragonfly yet. I got him! Have I already caught him? A red dragonfly. Yeah, I've already caught him because my encyclopedia doesn't say anything new about him. Oh, and there's another one. Can I get him? Oh my goodness! <laughs> so many bugs! I'm practicing for the bug off for sure. Yeah, this is Kid Cat's, isn't it? Yep, Kid Cat's house. I am- Oh, 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 you guys. You guys. <gasps> I caught a mantis! Sweet! Alright, so I did catch a new guy. Wonderful! Oh, and I think there's another spot of something to dig up. So let's come right over here. Yeah, I don't know who- who does- oh my gosh, there's another one of these guys. A tall one. I don't know who needs the actual book. And that's a little frustrating, because if none of my villagers need the book, then I need to go ahead and get rid of it, but oh gosh. All right, seriously? Seriously? You're gonna be like right here, tempting me with your adorableness? Get in my net! I'm practicing for the bug off. <laughs> it actually worked. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so we have a lot of repeats, but let's go ahead and take what we've got to Blathers. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and hurry. We'll go visit with Sable and then I'll hurry and then meet you guys later tonight so that we can see what kind of amazing things are going to be showing up at the autumn moon. And I also wanna see what my little wheat bundle looks like. I need a bigger house, so maybe we'll make a down payment since we unfortunately were not able to make, ex pardon me blathers, just the usual, don't mind me. I'm being a professional mayor today, even wearing my mayor outfit. All right, so I'm gonna take care of things with him by making some donations. And yeah, oh, I can only donate two things. Okay, there we go. There we go. So he'll be very happy, hopefully, with more bugs. And we'll get that filled out. But yeah, wearing my official mayor outfit. So I'm taking care of things. And I think it'd be amazing to be able to have one of my first official duties as mayor be being able to go to the autumn event and see if anybody's there. And I can't wait to see what my little wheat thingy looks like. All right, not to mention I do need to go buy more flowers. It's very important to go ahead and spend a lot of money for all of my little villagers. I can earn those bells, you guys. You can rely on my peach jam, my peach jam process. All right, how many of these can I donate? All right, Blathers. Dinosaur egg, what? That's so cool. Okay, we'll go ahead and donate these really quickly. Come on, Blathers, thank you. All right, thank you so much. And then I've got something to resell. Thank you so much, Blathers. Mm -hmm, wonderful. Okay, yep. Uh, nope, we're good. All right, no. Help. Help. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry, Blathers. It was my my experience. My, my mistake. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and run on because I want to see the dinosaur egg. Look at that. I want to see the dinosaur egg. I want to see the dinosaur egg. I want to see the dinosaur egg and the amber. I would really love to see that. We've gathered up so many fossils already. Our town is just a mecca for museum pieces. <gasps> I've already completed a piece? Look at this. Oh, wow. I'm so proud. And look at this. I've already got the dinosaur egg. Yes. The dinosaur egg and the amber are already put together. I am really, really, really proud about that, actually. So we've been working hard. Good, 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 good. All right. Well, yeah, let's go see what's over in the Nooklings place. And just in case there's anything, I may want to spend my mayoral... Oh, Genji! I didn't know you'd come visit the museum. Genji, that's amazing. Hey, hey, Siri. Fancy meeting you here, bud. Otaku. What can I help you with? This is really awesome. Dinosaurs are so big and strong looking. I hope to be one someday. Oh my gosh, Genji, that's amazing. Let's see. Yep, so he's just really happy to be checking out the dinosaurs. That's so cool. Alright, if nobody needs that book, then I might just drop it. Can I drop it in, like, the museum? Can I leave the book here? Is that something I could do? <sighs> no, I can't do that. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and keep moving. I really wish I could find which villager, like, it belonged to. I feel kind of bad for kind of holding it hostage for so long. All right, and then we'll go check on the nooklings really quickly, and then we'll go ahead and get our flowers from Leaf, our daily flowers. It's almost like picking up the bouquets that I pick up every week with my darling in real life when we go to... <gasps> is that a space station? When we go to the market, the farmer's market. Wait, is this storage? A pear dresser. Wait, can I use it as storage? Is that the case? Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to see. And then what the heck? A space station? I I am gonna have to take it. I need I, can, I think I need both of these things. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna have to buy this too, because if it's a dresser I can store things in it. And I could store all my items. Oh my gosh. Oh so much money. Goodbye money. There you go, little guy. I think Tommy's gonna be very happy because I bought both things. But this space station is perfect for our future little, like, asteroid and gemstone sort of place. Oh, and the birds love it here. Oh, it's the perfect shop. I love this little garden shop. I'm so happy. I just love my village and taking good care of it, you guys. It's been so pleasant just having every day, even just fun, just gathering up Sun Cosmos bag. Of course I'm going to buy it, because that's that's what his happiness is, remember? Every day he changes what kind of flowers are- <gasps> White roses, yes! Every day he changes what kind of flowers are in here based on his happiness, and I just- I can't get over that. So I hope that helps you out, my friend. I definitely need to buy more saplings from him, I think, actually. Because the more saplings you buy, then the more- the more you can get things from him, but we'll worry about that later. Let's come in and talk to the Able Sisters. 
And then I'm gonna go home with my dresser and see if I can actually use it because that would be kind of awesome Hello, hello, and let's see have I finally done enough. Um, Mayor Siri, is it? Hey, what gives this? You almost never recall a customer's name. Don't say things you don't need to, Mabel. Be respectful. Please, feel free to take a look around. Don't mind us at all. Oh my goodness! You seem like a very busy person, yet you always check in on us. And that means a lot to me, Siri. Oh, that's so cool! Yes, what would you like to do? Um, oh, and you can make designs, at least. Alright, oh hey! What, what's up, Tabby? Fish flakes! I just knew you'd come here. You always look so mega dazzling. What do you want to talk about, Kapow? I totally bet they got new clothes in here today. They usually do. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So we'll have to go home and see if I, my dresser, like, actually works. <laughs> because that would be so fun. I see so many amazing designs that people make. <gasps> you could have a little crown! <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is perfect for fossil digging! A historical sense of style. I'll take it. Oh, I can't get it because my pockets are full. Oh, they have such cute accessories. All right, you guys, we're gonna head home and we're gonna see if my adorable little dresser actually works. And then we're gonna come back for the autumn moon later today. So, all right, let's go ahead I'm just gonna do the usual. Oh my gosh, I love this place. I'm just gonna do the usual of running down, selling my extra fossil, putting some things into the locker for sure, planting some plants at random. I think the sun cosmos. Oh, oh, what's this? Oh, wait, I can't do that. Ah, oh, my pockets are already full. Drop it, drop it, drop it. There's something here as well. Oh my gosh. And we'll go ahead and plant this. The sun cosmos, I think, would be good near here and I want to start like a little rose garden as well somewhere I don't want it to be too super fancy like I don't want the rose <gasps> I wanted the roses I didn't want them dead what have I done that was awful oh gosh I pass a beautiful town ordinance and then I promptly destroy one of my roses oh that was so sad I'm wiping tears from my eyes poor rose poor rose oh gosh oh gosh all right well I'm gonna take care of these things and I'm gonna go see if I can put the uh not the space station for sure but the pear dresser in my house sell my extra things and I will see you guys back here later for the autumn moon festival so I'll see you then bye bye all right, everyone, welcome back. It is much later in the day. Very, very late for me right now, actually. And I've never been out at night. This is so exciting. I have started moving my flowers around to try to encourage little flower gardens. So I'm thinking what we may do is we may make designated flower garden spots where we try to breed for hybrids. But otherwise, it has just been a calm day of actually sorting through all of my things, making sure everything looks nice. I have so many bells right now. I have this many bells because I actually sold quite a few of the seashells from the seashore. So that's what I was doing today to earn a little bit of extra money and extra funds We have some tulips spreading over here, which is so exciting And I wanted to see if the villagers will come over to the town plaza tonight Isabel, it's time I think the moon is looking down on us with a great big smile Perhaps I'm just looking for another reason to admire the moon Nonsense, you can see as well as I can how wonderful the moon looks I can! What do you think about this, Kit Kat? What can I help you with? I heard Tammy has been toying with the idea of moving. Or maybe that was just a rumor she likes toys? I forget. Alright, so this is- I figured this is all that would really happen. But I thought, how fitting we got a space station on a day like today. What is that? Is that just somebody's- Oh my gosh, I think that's just the way that Big Top's, um... The smoke actually changes the colors back there. Oh, wow, the stars are so pretty, you guys. Oh, my goodness. So, yes, that is all that really goes down for the festival. So, I'll take us back home and I will show you guys the special little wooden item. That was so cute. Oh, gosh, you can actually see. Look. 
Ah, oh, that's adorable. You can actually see the moon back there. Thank you, Isabel. Let me go ahead and gather these peaches really quickly. Always good to have a spare peach on you. And then, I think, is that all she's going to tell us about it? Moss tree, all lit up by the moonlight of the autumn moon. It's one of my favorite sights. If only there was a way to take the moon and bottle it up so you could see it whenever you wanted. I'd start off every day with a little sprinkle of moonbeams in my life. There's nothing better. Isabel, you are very quickly becoming one of my, my favorite people. You're just so sweet. Oh my gosh. Starting her day with a sprinkle of moonbeams. Oh, you're so precious. You precious, precious child. I love you. Oh, she really is so wonderful. All right. Well, I found a few more fossils. Oh, and they organized. Oh, there's Caesar. Oh, what's that? I don't have that guy yet. Oh, where'd he go? I thought I found him. Caesar, did you spook him? I think Caesar spooked him. He was also out hunting bugs. Oh, there he is again. Oh, did I get him? It's a cricket! Oh, I've already caught crickets! Oh, I got so excited. Oh, there's Tammy. Hey, Tammy. Hmm. Oh, sorry. I'm just obsessing over what I had, what to have for dinner tonight, you heard? So anyway, did you need something? The autumn moon celebration always makes me realize how quickly the year is going by. I mean, it's already fall. Where did the time go? <laughs> we moon gazers are such deep thinkers, you heard? Oh, this is so fun, so we can talk to everybody about the autumn moon. Man, it's taken me forever to get in the groove of this crazy day, and I'm out of time, Highness. So, did you need something? Hey, hey, Siri. Sorry to ask you for this, but could you maybe head out and bring me a peach? It's a fruit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Please, don't tell me to go get it myself, okay? What do you say? Can you do it for me? No problem. Look at his teary eyes. Alright, I've got this, Caesar. I already got a peach fresh on me, just in case. Take this, my friend. Alright, let's see. So you are having peaches by moonlight. That should make him happy. Whoa, this looks delicious. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, wonderful. His trunk. A trunk? That sounds interesting. Thank you very much, Caesar. All right, real ability for getting things done around here. I'll be sure to ask you for help again next time. Wonderful, so I'm glad that worked out. And I actually want to see, is Blanche awake? Oh, she's out for a walk right now. Because it's like the, the autumn... Oh! Oh gosh, everybody's here. Genji, hey! A little chilly at night. And then... I love it when the weather is like this. You can do weight training or just stay inside and watch sports. Oh gosh, and then Tabby? Fish flakes! Still rock of the night, I see. Kerpow! What do you want to talk about? I l I'd like your opinion on something. I want to add something new to my room. Kerpow! I just haven't seen that special something yet. How about you find it for me, Siri? Oh! Oh, I have a cricket! I have a lucky moon cricket! Take it, Tabby! Take the lucky moon cricket! I think you're gonna love it, my friend. Lucky moon cricket. There you go. I did get a new special item, but I want to look at it. Having insects in my house is totally chicken a weird way. I love it, Siri. I'll make this little critter a part of my home. Oh, that's so exciting. So she might have a lucky cricket. An effects rack? What the heck? <laughs> We're getting some fun things from our villagers tonight. We may end up selling some of this, but this is really cool. Thank you, Caesar. Thank you, Genji. Thank you, Tabby. I wish I could see Blanche. I, for some reason, she's really just become like one of my absolute favorites, but it's been a very long day, so it's time to go to bed, but how fun to celebrate the autumn moon. So, this is what my house looks like now. Pretty good for being so tiny, if I do say so myself. We happen to have my goldfish, Poppy, right over here. Probably gonna, Poppy is in like the flower, even though it is a Popeye goldfish, but I thought that was really fun. It's Poppy like the flowers, I'll have you guys know. And not Poppy like the eyes. <laughs> then this is the little wheat decoration that you get for the autumn festival. And we're gonna have this forever now to celebrate this special day. I love that. I love that so much. And this dresser does work. It actually opens up the dresser dresser that is up in the train station. So I've been starting to store a few things in here. Just different items that I might want to use. I have been storing the fossils I find during the day in here so that I can snag them really quickly if I need to. 
the little uh, gyroid guys are in here, and I'm keeping the crystals that I don't have out on the ground in here. I just want to have at least one of every type of crystal so we can add it to our displays, maybe as meteorites for a little space room in the future. I think that would be really fun. So I'm just keeping everything organized, already being able to be a little bit of a pack rat in a very tidy space. And let's see what kind of special items they've given me. So we have the trunk. Oh gosh, it's cute. It's a little travel trunk. <gasps> if we ever have to do like official business, this will be perfect, you guys. So we have a cute little travel trunk. Maybe that means that Caesar's thinking he won't move. And then an effects rack. Oh gosh, is this just like a little... <gasps> oh wow! We can make music with this. This would be really cool in my little space room, actually. So both things are pretty cool. All right, well, I'm very happy about that. I'll just go ahead and tuck them safely away into one of my little storage spots. I've got many, many little storage spots, so we'll just put both of them away. And that's what peaches and just being nice to somebody will get you and giving them a cricket. That's what we did. So thank you guys for joining me for the beautiful autumn moon event and getting my little bit of wheat. If you guys are playing the moss tree or I'm the moss tree, if <laughs> you guys can't play a moss tree yet. If you guys are also enjoying New Leaf, let me know what you guys got. I hear you get different things depending on what country you're in. So if you're in Australia, I think you get like a veggie basket instead, which sounds so cool. And then I I will see you guys tomorrow, hopefully, for the big bug off. So until later, guys, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.